In the harmonic oscillator example, we observed that the wave packet corresponding to the squared modulus of the wave function behaved intuitively, it simply followed the classical particle. I will now tell you that this was not a mere coincidence. The squared modulus of the wave function plays a pivotal role in quantum mechanics and lies at the core of the so-called Born rule. So far, I have not touched upon the actual meaning of the wave function. Indeed, what is the physical nature of the function psi? You might find it surprising, but there is no consensus on the meaning of the wave function. There are many conflicting theories, commonly referred to as interpretations of quantum mechanics. Reviewing these theories exceeds the scope of this introductory course. However, you might wonder, if the nature of the wave function is unknown, how can it be employed to describe physical processes? In particular, how can psi be utilized to make quantitative, experimentally verifiable predictions about the system? It turns out that the question regarding the practical utility of the wave function is much simpler than the question regarding its physical meaning, and the answer to it is known as the Born rule. The Born rule stipulates that the squared modulus of the wave function equals the probability density of finding the particle at point x at time t. The Born rule stands as one of the cornerstones of quantum theory, although physicists still debate whether it should be considered an axiom or if it is derivable from some other, more fundamental principles. Let me elaborate on the statement of the Born rule in more detail. Consider the position axis and the squared modulus of the wave function. Let's select a point x on the axis, and a tiny, infinitesimally small interval dx around it. The area under the function, within the dx interval, equals the squared modulus of psi, times dx. Once again, we're considering dx to be infinitesimally small. The Born rule states that this area represents the probability, at time t, of finding the particle within the interval from x minus half dx to x plus half dx. As we progress through the course, we'll explore Born's rule and its implications more deeply. However, at this stage, it's crucial to highlight the following essential aspect of quantum mechanics. Its predictions are formulated in terms of probabilities and therefore, are inherently statistical in nature.